There is this long-standing debate in biology, and social biology in particular, about the rates of human reproduction and human reproduction cycles. It turns out humans reproduce with certain cycles more often, so there, there is a peak of birth around September. Um, and we know that because from a conception around December, at the end of December. For the longest time, people thought that this had to do with the cycles of the planet. So in the Northern Hemisphere, in the winter, the days are shorter, people reproduce more there. So more, more or less these peaks coincide with the solstices. And so people thought there was a biological adaptation. We looked at all the Twitter data from around the planet, from all these countries and, and follow the mood of people. We also fo follow their Google searches. Uh, we have access via Google Trends of their searches for sex, uh, for pornography and that sort of thing in all the countries in the world. And then it turns out that we can very easily correlate a mood vector around certain uh, days of the year that lead to increased search in pornography online and so forth. And these coincide with the birth speaks. And so where, where are those? Those are Christmas, around the Christmas time in Christian countries. And in Muslim countries is the last day of Ramadan. And so this shows that actually this peak in sexual activity that leads to births is not a biological but a social phenomena that happens uh, around, I mean, it's different. Each country, whether it's a northern or southern hemisphere, has a different, uh, the same behavior. So for instance, Australia and Brazil, which are very Christian countries, are in sync with northern hemisphere countries around the same time. They both have this peak in Christmas. And Muslim countries, whether they're southern or, or northern, also have the same behavior. So this is an instance where Social media has allowed us to resolve a question that was for the longest time being debated in biological circuits. These, these sort of macroscopes, to use a term uh, that Katy Borner here likes to use a lot, allow us to look at society um, at a grander scale.